Hi everyone, recently I updated my iPhone SE first gen to iOS 13.7. That got me thinking about how I update my iOS devices, as we're also expecting iOS 14 to come by anytime soon. Typically, most people use the settings app to update. However, I'm a little old fashioned in that I update my iOS devices using iTunes for every update. Personally, I believe it's the best way to install updates, and here's why. I do not intend this video to sway you one way or the other. It's just my personal thoughts on different ways to update, so do whichever way you prefer. By the way, ever since macOS 10.15 Catalina, iTunes has been phased out from the Mac and has been replaced with the Finder and other separate Apple apps. So anytime I mention iTunes, assume that I mean using iTunes and the Finder for updating. One reason why installing updates on the computer is better is because of stability. Anecdotally, I've almost never received infamous iOS errors or bugs on my iPhone SE out of the 4 plus years I've had my device, such as battery drain, Bluetooth slash airdrop problems, weird slowness, animation bugs, or phone call drops. I actually had to search up a couple of these problems because I've never had them. Comparing iTunes slash computer updates and OTA updates, also known as updates using the settings app, updating using the computer ensures that the iOS update is verified before it is installed. Basically, iTunes iOS updates reinstalls a fresh copy of iOS onto the device, of course without wiping anything from the device, while OTA updates only contain what's new in iOS and applies it to your device's existing iOS iTunes updates would make sure that the whole OS is intact before installing, while over-the-air updates could be missing parts of the update if somehow your Wi-Fi connection is spotty. Thus, a lot of initial problems in iOS updates could be avoided by using your computer to update. The second reason why I personally update the old-fashioned way is due to backups and update safety. Admittedly, I'm a little poor at backing up my device, but luckily, before every iTunes update, iTunes makes a full backup of my device stored on my computer before proceeding with the update. Actually, it doesn't back up sensitive data except if you set a password. In the event that something bad happens, I could restore my phone to my latest computer backup. With the OTA updates, it won't force any kind of backup to the best of my knowledge, which is perhaps risky if the update somehow fails and the user is forced to restore due to iOS bugs. This next reason is a little more advanced for the average user. Using your computer, it's possible to do a DFU restore of your iOS device in the event that something catastrophic happens, if you want to completely wipe your device or downgrade from a beta. You can also use recovery mode to get out of a sticky situation, but that's a little different topic beyond the scope of this video, so I'll link an article down below. DFU mode, which is short for Device Firmware Update, is a mode on iOS devices where the device has turned on and can communicate with the computer to make low-level changes. For example, in the past I've ran my phone with a jailbreak but eventually wanted to move back to a stock iOS install. To be safe, I did a DFU restore to ensure that no jailbreak files were left that could possibly create glitches on my phone. For most users, DFU mode wouldn't be something that would be frequently used, if at all, but it's there in the event you need it. Nothing like this would be possible from OTA downloads. Of course, updating iOS devices using a computer isn't without its downsides. The first one would be that you'd need a computer to update this way in the first place, in which some people might not have a readily available computer to do the update and only use their mobile devices for their computing needs. Another would be that because iTunes would pretty much download a fresh copy of the entire iOS on your computer, every time you update, iTunes will take up more space on your storage drive, but you can always delete the update files afterward. And the final downside is that it takes longer to update using a computer because of the additional steps involved, such as making a backup and verifying the iOS update. Anyway, to wrap things up, I personally use iTunes to update my iPhone because of stability, automatic full backups of my phone before updating, and the option for DFU mode for more extreme updates or wipes of my device. Of course, you don't have to use your computer to update your phone if you don't want to or don't have access to computer. Well, I think that's the end of the video. 
Take care, everyone.